What the fuck is this? Well, this makes me feel awkward as hell. We can't do anything but go outside. Shit. Well, I guess. Whoa! Whoa! This is rough. What is with this scene? thing I could think of is wow we can't move from here so awkward. I've, uh, never had to do this before. Not even as the one who's gotta sweep up the mess afterwards. No. Not like this. No. Gotta say, I'm a little surprised. Life has a way of taking you for a loop like that. Hmm. So are you gonna... No. Not yet. Let's sit for a few moments. It won't hurt. Sure. I'm sorry if this is a kind of weird, but... Can't get over this one thing. I'm here. Sitting right here. But I'm also over there. You know? <laughs> Feeling a little conflicted about it? Definitely. So, you could say you're of two minds about it? I'm not gonna dignify that with a laugh. Can't say I didn't try. But seriously, that's my grave. My body's right there. How it is that? It's, uh, pretty weird, yeah. I don't feel quite as weird as I did when I was helping to bury it, though. Fair. Grave digging. All the manual labor of gardening with none of the rewards. I don't reckon I'm gonna grow into a beautiful tree. Buddy, you're already a wise old oak. Dead, wise old oak. Struck by lightning, yeah. So, you don't think anything's gonna grow out of me? Not unless you swallowed a bunch of seeds without me noticing. Afraid not? Huh. <sighs> I don't really know what you're meant to do when you're about to pass on. Not prepared at all. Am I meant to be doing extra su doing extra self-care or something? You're better at all that stuff than I am. <laughs> yeah, man. Get yourself a bath bomb. Light some candles. Charcoal face mask. The whole shebang. Is that supposed to sound appealing? <laughs> yep. God. I'm out of touch. I made a bath bomb once, but... But? 
It flattened a city block. And then some. <laughs> Goodness. You were such a hellion. That's why I took you in. Because I saw that attitude in you too. Bomb making revolutionary. Uh, no, no. Uh, you are a born pioneer. When you put your mind to something, you never stop pursuing it till you get it done or you kill yourself in the process. Heh. <laughs> I try to avoid getting into the habit of assembling bombs then. A uh, few. Don't get me wrong, though. The bath bomb in the question was definitely meant to be the sort that smells nice. For real. It's just a little bit too fragrant in the end. Amazing. That aside, I think it's hard to mess up lighting some candles. Probably. You think I can just carry scented candles with me wherever I go? Yes. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't have any. Damn it. Tell me you got some downstairs at least. Yeah, but I'm not going back to get them. No, that's fine. After I'm gone, put a few around maybe to remember me. I'll light them all up for you. Don't worry. I'm trying to give. I, I gave him an accent that made him sound different, Jawbone. Cafe is going to stink of chamomile for weeks. Oh, that's perfect. The uh, correct answer, Jawbone, is bad accent. Not Scottish, bad accent. No, I think it's about time. What do you think? This one's your call. As it should have been the whole time. Come on. Let's go have a look at your work, eh? Yeah, it was always about time. It's very minimalistic. I like it. Hush you. Ah, the dramatic reveal. Very swish. Can't write history till it's happened. No, I suppose not. What's that written down here? Maddie, did you put poetry on my headstone? <laughs> Give it a read. We see but dimly through the mist and vapors. Amidst these early damps. It seems to us but sad funeral tapers. Maybe heaven's distant lamps. That's... Comforting. Chin up, old friend. It's just another step. We just gotta keep putting one foot in front of the other. No matter where we're going. I just... You told me that back when I was a depressed mess who wandered in here looking to hide from everything. Throwing my voice back up. My own advice back at me. You monster. Heh. <laughs> I guess I should stop dawdling anyhow. You do you. Feel guilty for swinging back and forth on you. Being anxious, and eager, and scared, and brave. It's cool. I'm not gonna have to go at you for it. And you have every right to feel complex feelings about this very specific, very scary thing. Mm, thank you. But I can't do this. I can't stand here making you wonder if I'm going to do it or not. I need to do it now. I'll never leave. Maddie, I... Uh... It's okay, mate. Take a deep breath. Take it in. Let it all out. Okay. All right. Maddie. Yeah. You got this. We'll see each other again.
Necrobarista. Finn. So friends, that was Necrobarista, my name is Jack LaFere, and this has been a uh, wonderful experience. For the sake of the YouTube video, I just want to say if you want to check out this live, you can go to twitch.tv slash Jack Or if you want, you can, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit a like, or whatever feels more comfortable to you. Um, the community is pretty strong around here. Kind of feeling rad about it. Hope to see you about this for the next series. And... A major thank you to the community members who purchased me the game, Bloody Judge and Red Gypsy. Uh, major thanks to them. I wanted to play this, and they were kind enough to purchase it so I could do so. Thank me for playing, apparently, and thank you for watching. So, looks like there's a little bit more, though. Let's see. A few days later, 2 p.m., the terminal. All done. Looks pretty good. It's got the right number of legs and everything. And 50% less homicidal impulses. I, I think <laughs> we're still aiming for 100% less, right? Uh, sure, I guess. Well, it's progress, I suppose. Uh, Maddie. Yeah. Why is the ground outside on fire? Oh, brother. Hey, is that... You ready? Yeah. Psst. Wretched, isn't it? You know what this place needs, pal? Tell him. Uh. Uh. What? I don't actually know what this place needs. I was hoping I'd have thought of something by now. <sighs> you guys done? I guess. Great. Better pick up that cigarette, Kashan. Huh. I will. Didn't mean to be disrespectful. <laughs> that was a cute tough guy act you two had going on there. Yeah? Very convincing. <laughs> An enforcer is required to be imposing. It's in the job description. Oh no, don't fire me. He's not gonna fire you. He's too much of a big softy for that. I am not a softy. Sure you aren't. You're basically a giant teddy bear with a metal hat. Hey, hold on. You join the council, Kashan? Huh, yeah, actually. You're not gonna tell her now, are you? Huh? I thought we were going to do a little build-up. Uh, tell me what. Oh, I, uh... Too much pressure. Tell me, you weasel. Don't be rude. Necromancer baristas are required to be mean to council staff. It's in the job description. He's done a good thing for you, you gotta know. Oh, well, in that case... What's up, bud? Come on. 
I can't handle the suspense. Well, uh, last night we ended up in the archives. The council. The council offer archives. Kashan went with a particular goal and dragged me along. Hey, uh, you didn't protest that much. Anyway, uh, you might want to sit down for this. Hi. Okay. I managed to wipe your debt. Is this a bad practical joke? No, he's telling the truth. Hmm. Turns out that there's some old bylaws that have loopholes and... Well, you're not going to believe this. But the council pa allows payment of debt in a bunch of weird ways. Yes, we really ought to fix that. And one of those ways is through a voluntary sacrifice of a soul. Wait, what? So, I was able to sacrifice myself by joining the council and wiped your outstanding debts at the same time. Well, that's silly. Huh? So, you guys get to do as much human sacrifice as you'd like, but as soon as I'm doing it, I'm a menace, upsetting the natural order. Maddie. Yes, Nettie, dearest? Pull your head in. Ahem. You're right, I suppose. I apologize. Kishan, you didn't do this just for me, did you? Are you sure you're okay with this? No, no. I promise. This is fine. I wanted to stay. I was way too afraid to pass on. And I thought the council was interesting and I wanted to learn more about him. Ned might have talked me into a little bit. I absolutely promise that I didn't feel pressured into it. Made the decision on my own. I... I don't know what to say. Just consider it as me repaying the kindness I was shown when I walked in. I was really, really freaked out. And you all helped me a lot with that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So, we're gonna be okay? As long as you stay on the straight and narrow from now on, yes. Cool. Reckon you'll be able to do that, Maddie? I... Yeah. Do my best. No more legal rituals. No more legal rituals. Promise. I'll stick to the legal stuff for as long as I can. Uh... I suppose that'll have to do. I understand that you're somewhat of a stuck record in that regard. I'm trying to make my peace with that. Oh, look at you two. Making friends. Wholesome. Please, just try and keep your head down. I will. Yeah. Gonna be hard to cause too much trouble if you keep raiding my suppliers anyway. Huh, <laughs> sorry. Just doing my job. Yeah, can't fault you for that. Anyhow... I'm afraid we've places to be. Hmm, so soon? We only just got here. Told you we were only popping in for five minutes. Got paperwork to go. Ugh, responsibilities. Catch you two later. Thanks again. I appreciate it a lot. You're welcome. Anytime. scrub those off. Are we gonna do it now? Nah, I'll do it later. Right now, though, everything's pretty calm, so I was thinking we might show us up early. Damn it! What is it now? Oi. You better clean that up, you little monster. Hmm? Is it trying to tell us something?
Hey, watch it. It's a plant? What's with the envelope? Hmm, smells nice. What's the card say? It's... It's from Che. And the time for regrets and apologies is long past. All we can do is look forward to the future with a smile on our faces. Don't obsess over what could have been, please. I know you're going to do great things, and you don't need my help for that. This is my last gift for you, my apprentice. Kept saying that you needed this, so I went out and got it. I think that even though some people claim to be ready for what lies next, everyone wants a little bit more time. <laughs> time, get it? It's, it's the plant. <laughs> <laughs> Time. <laughs> it's not an egg joke. Che. Hey, um, you okay? I. That bastard couldn't re resist playing one last joke on us, could he? I'm okay. Seriously, pun. Can't even give him the withering look in response. I mean, he was just quoting you, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Let's go hang this up. I know it's just the two of us now, but I think you'll always be here in some form, right? Yeah, I think so. We can't get rid of him that easily. All right, let's close up. What are we gonna do? I was thinking of heading to the hardware store. Everyone keeps saying we need more plants in here. Why stop at one? Hello, friends. That was Necro Barista. That was a uh, pretty rad, uh, rad story. 